What I have here are two lenses, the standard lens and a tilt shift lens. Now this is a very special lens and I'll demonstrate it to you in a few minutes what this is all about. Now with a standard lens like this one and then it's mounted on the camera the camera plane is parallel to the lens plane and then the focus area is parallel to the lens frame and to the camera plane. So basically everything is nice and parallel. Obviously you have the specific depth of field which depends on your diaphragma setting. So if you're shooting with a 1.4 diaphragma you will have a very narrow depth of field and all objects in that line that is parallel to your camera and to your lens will be sharp. But if any object is outside that depth of field area, which is a parallel zone to your camera, then that will be blur. Depending how far it's out, it will be more or less blur. With a tilt shift lens, things are a bit different. You can actually move the focus plane left or right, and thereby even able to create sharpness in areas where you can't create sharpness with a normal lens. And I will demonstrate that to you uh, in a few minutes. And before I do so, I want to give you a closer look at a tilt-shift lens. We have now mounted the tilt-shift lens on the camera and the shift function is as follows. You can actually lower the lens or raise the lens in relationship to the sensor. It is the same effect as you would be getting higher up in front of an object or if you would be getting real low down in front of an object. And one of the typical uses of that one is uh, shooting architectural pictures. If you stand in front of a big building and you can't move backwards anymore, often you can't get the top of the building in the lens and we tend to tilt the camera up like this and then you get this well-known deformation uh, of the uh, picture where the building is kind of falling over. With the shift function, you can actually climb up, climb higher, uh, but you don't uh, in reality, but that's the effect you get. Uh, it is as you were getting higher up on kind of a ladder and then taking the picture of the building again. And that's what that does for you without having the problem of the perspective deformation that you would normally have with a normal lens. Now, it's not only a shift up and down, but you can also shift left and right, but then you have to twist the lens, and then basically you can do the same thing. Uh, it's just the other effect. Uh, quite handy, this method, uh, if you want to shoot pictures in, uh, from a mirror, from a reflection in a mirror, because you don't want to see yourself in the mirror and with this method um, it is great because you're not going to see yourself uh, in the picture. The other function that this lens has is what we call uh, the tilt and it's actually allowing the lens to move left or right and that causes the focus plane to be no longer parallel uh, to the uh, camera plane and the lens plane and this you do as follows as you can see there we go and maybe you can't see it too well, uh, but I'll show it to you in another minute. There we go. So let me just turn that around a bit so it will be easier to see. So here we go. So this is what we call the tilt function. Up and down, up and down. This is how it works. So, now, let's do some practical shots and then you'll see what I mean. So, um, imagine that this face with the plant is a tall building in the street and we are standing at our back against another building across the street trying to picturize and frame uh, this big building. And that's going to be very difficult because we won't be able to get it on because our position is way too low to get the full building on it. Now with the shift function of a tilt-shift lens you can compensate and you can get the full building in the picture without deformation. So let's have a look. So here we are with our camera 
um, at the other side of the street and we are trying to frame this uh, big building, in this case the vase. Now with our normal lens there's nothing we can do about it and the only thing we potentially could do was would be to tilt the whole camera up like this right and then you could try to get the whole building but then you will get deformation of the picture because of the perspective. Now with a tilt shift lens mounted on your camera you can actually shift up and that's what I'll do right now and then as you can see I'm getting the whole face or the whole building um, in the frame without actually having deformation. Now that's the advantage of a shift lens. This is the setup we will demonstrate the tilt function of the tilt shift lens. I have a few cars here and they're all placed on different distances uh, from the camera. I can focus with a normal lens on one of the cars and then the other cars will be blurred because they are closer by or further away and I'm working with a very shallow depth of field. Uh, let's say with a lens of 2.8 or a 1.4. That can create very nice effects, but sometimes you might want to have all the cars along this diagonal sharp. Now, with a normal lens, you can't do that because the lens plane and the camera plane and the focus plane are all parallel, meaning that all the cars would have to be on the same line to have them all sharp. With a tilt shift lens, that's different because you can actually tilt. And when you tilt, you move the focus plane left or right. So it is no longer parallel to the lens plane or even to the plane of your camera. And thereby you are moving away the depth of field to other places. And hence, you can actually focus on every car individually, even at 2.8, even though the cars are further away from each other. So that's what I will now uh, demonstrate to you. So hang on and have a look. I'm now focusing on the green car and of course the white and the red car are blur. If I now turn my shift lens, you'll see that I might be able to get the other cars in focus. Now in this case, I place the focus in the complete opposite direction. So I will turn back the tilt, we'll move to the other side. So now you can see that we're getting all the cars reasonable well in focus in a very abnormal um, focus plane. That is a function of tilt shift. It works real well and some people actually use it for uh, the creation of kind of toys. So you have tall buildings and you stand on top of the building, you take a picture downwards and then you use your tilt functionality of your tilt shift lens and all the cars would look like miniature cars. I'm sure you've seen all these pictures. So I hope this helps a bit the understanding of a tilt shift lens. Thank you.